After months of questions about credentials, as well as spending on a junket, the Clintondale Board of Education voted tonight to buy out the contract of Superintendent Rodriguez Broadnax. Mara McDonald live for us tonight. Mara, this move comes as a Clinton Township police investigation into that spending has come to a close. That's right, Christy, and we know that a warrant request in this case has been submitted to the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office as of tonight. No charges as of yet have been authorized, and if they are to be authorized, against whom? Broadnax was not fired tonight. He asked to resign and for a severance package, which was approved. He put the blame for his departure on racism. I would have stayed here. You probably wouldn't have had to buy my contract out or separate from me, but because of the racism that I have faced yeah. over the last year, the last nine months, from yeah. just a few folks out here, I'm not saying everybody, but there's a few, and they know who they are. Not all board members supported the severance. I don't feel that this agreement benefits the students of the district. I don't feel that this agreement benefits the district or the community in any way. The board has been warned by its, by its attorney that this cost will be over $500,000 for the first year. This brings to a close a tumultuous couple of months for Broadnax and some board members after a school board junket to California and questionable spending. It's unclear whether the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office will authorize charges, but a warrant has been requested. I'm sorry. I think that the treatment that Mr. Broadnax has gotten and his family we all should be ashamed. The now former superintendent had plenty of support, both from the board and the audience tonight. I wouldn't want to be here if I was him either, because of y'all. Back here live, a school board member resigned in protest over Broadnax leaving. In addition, he faced an unclear future in this school district. There are new school board members taking office in January. The assumption was that he was likely to see his contract suspended. We are live in Clinton Township tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Mara.